This is Julian from Real Social Dynamics here in downtown San Diego. At the end of a very beautiful fight, we're in the middle of a fight. And what I want to talk about is Come adding on. masculine polarity to your interactions. Come on, that's it! There's a certain type of vibe that certain guys have that just draws girls in, you know, it just makes them stand out. Like it's like a deep, intense, kind of like magnetic feel that whenever they're talking to a girl, she just gets drawn in, you know, she just can't take her eyes off of them. There's something different about them uh, that just like turns her on inside, it tingles her emotions in ways that she's just not used to and she just becomes naturally attracted, you know, she just can't control it and, you know, like those guys just stand out of the crowd. It's like, wow, here's a real man, not just another friend. Here's a guy that actually want and we call this masculine polarity masculine polarity back before I even found out about the game I had like two really close friends and uh, one of them was a natural and whenever a girl would meet us you know actually say hi to me hi to my other friend and then hi to the natural she would always gravitate towards the natural they would always be attracted to him they would always be like wow this is the leader of the group this is the guy who stands out this is my plan a you know my friend and I are just plan B plan C uh, this is my number one choice and he used to really confuse me. I'm like, damn, like, what does this guy have that I don't? Like, is it his looks? Because he's not that good looking. Like, what the fuck is it about him? And it is, again, that masculine polarity. He was able to identify that kind of like essence or feel that I'm advocating here, and he was able to amplify it. Now, this is something that's mainly communicated in what we call like the subcommunications. So it's not something that you can proactively do on like the surface layer. Like, it's not a line or a technique that you can just learn, but it's like something you just radiate off you. It's like radiating sex worthiness, if you will. So think back to the last time you were next to someone who was stressed. Or the last time you were next to someone who was just like very, very upset, you can just kind of like feel the stress. You can feel the fact that he's upset. And this is not something he's practically doing. Like he doesn't even have to talk. You can just like feel it off him. This is the type of vibe that I'm advocating here. Okay, like being polarizing and just emanating sex worthiness in that way where if she stands next to you, she's like, wow. I actually like this guy. Like, holy shit. There's like, again, that magnetic intensity behind it. So one of the ways of accentuating this is through the eyes, okay? Like through eye contact. A girl can pretty much tell anything and everything just by looking in your eyes. She can tell if there's that intensity or not. She can tell if you're relaxed or if you're stressed out. She can tell if you're trying to think ahead or if you're just very sure of yourself, if you're comfortable, if you're attached to the outcome just by looking in your eyes, okay? Like really pay attention to this next time that you open a girl. You say, hi, where does she look? In your eyes. She's like, who the fuck is this guy? And if you're just very relaxed, you know, like steady, calm, laser eye contact, she's like, wow, this guy's actually cool. He's centered, he's drawing safe from within, he's the shit. He has that sex-worthy vibe about himself. And if you're all stressed out, like, I uh, don't know what to say, trying to think ahead, she's like, wow, this guy's actually, you know, not who I want to end up being with. So whenever I'm talking to a girl, I try to communicate as much as I can just through the eyes, okay? Like, I stare at her and I try to project that intensity, okay? Like, you really wanna come from that intense, just magnetic place, and you can just project that, okay? So, instead of looking at someone, you know, just straight in the eyes, like, hey, what's up, like that, you start kinda like forcing it, okay? We call this laser eyes. Like, instead of looking like, like this, I'd like, like that, okay? Like, laser eyes. I actually start projecting my current state through the eyes, like onto the girl. So an exercise you can do right now, just looking at your screen, okay, to kind of reinforce this, is look into my eyes right now. Okay, like look deeply into my eyes, and I want you to picture yourself, you know, just like headbutting me, okay? Picture yourself headbutting me right now, but you can't physically move, okay? So you're sitting looking at your screen right now, you can't move, and I want you to really like imagine it, just like, boom, like going for the headbutt, but without being able to move, and kind of just project that through the way that you're just looking at me right now, okay? Like you can just feel there's that like intensity that just like builds and you can just start amplifying that. You can start playing with that emotion. So whenever you're talking to a girl, it's gonna be like, hey, and just like very flat, you can just add massive amounts of depth to it. To add more to the magnetic side of things, you really have to cultivate a challenging type of mentality, okay? When you're going up to the girls and it's not just flat, okay? Like try to stay away from anything that's flat, anything that's just fluff, okay? What do most conversations look like? Guys go up to girls, they're like, you know, hey, how's it going? Like, uh, I just bought a dog. Do you have any cool dog names? And she's like, I love dogs. He's like, you know what? I love dogs as well. It's like my favorite animal. And then she might say, you know what? I love cats too. 
And say the guy hates cats, what is he going to say? He's like, oh, well, you know, cats are, you know, they're a great species as well, but, you know, it's just all my personal favorite. Like, I just prefer dogs overall, and blah, 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 and they just kind of try to go with the flow of things. You know, it's like fluff, fluff, fluff. There's no intensity behind it. So, you know, like the way they look, it's like, hey, it's like just trying to be polite, trying to keep the conversation going, and there's just not enough fucking challenge in the vibe. You know, there's just not enough challenge. So, one way, you know, like the most traditional way of going against that fluff and adding a little bit more of a challenging, provocative type of vibe is doing push pulls. Okay, like actually, you're like, you know what? I love you, I hate you. I love you, I hate you. It's going on like both sides of the spectrums. Okay, it's like, oh, I love you, kind of like a pull, I hate you, a push, versus just flat, flat, flat. Okay, like you go on like both sides. So, push pull is a great way of doing this, but to take things even further and like take them deeper, you want to basically go against the current of things at times, okay? Like you want to add that pressure. So right now with the fluff, the guy that's just coming from the fluff mindset where he's just talking and talking, agreeing with what you're saying, try to keep things going, try to keep things smooth, he's trying to go with the current of the interaction and he's basically adapting onto whatever frame the girl is setting. Now, when she says, for example, you know, like, oh, I love dogs, and then she's like, I love cats. If he says, I hate cats, that's going against the current. Okay, and it's like, oh, there's a little pressure there. She's like, what? It's like, he actually imposes himself and he like puts the brakes on. It's like, oh, against the current of things. You know, whenever you do like a subtle little push, for example, you know, or like, say the girl's like, uh, say the opposite of what the girl says. You're like, are you from San Diego? She's like, yeah. You're like, I hate San Diego. What? It's like, it goes against the current and that creates massive amounts of just magnetic polarity. Okay, like go against the current of things. Uh, do an exercise, like go out and like say for the first 30 seconds of the interaction, you know, say the opposite of whatever the girl says. If you're like, hi, you know, it's like, what's your name? She's like, my name's Jen. You're like, oh, interesting. Uh, where are you from? San Diego. I hate San Diego. Do you like the color blue? She's like, I love blue. I hate blue. Uh, what's your favorite food? Pizza. I hate pizza. Uh, what's your favorite drink? You know, like Coca-Cola. I hate Coca-Cola. What's your worst, you know, nightmare? This. I love that nightmare. Okay, just go against, you know, what she's saying. Try to create that resistance. Now, don't do this all throughout the interaction, okay? It's like a mixture of pressure on, pressure off, but creating that resistance adds polarity, okay? Stay away from the fluff. The way that I personally like to structure my own interactions is I do a lot of fluff, like more like joking around self-amusement, but I ground it in a very, you know, like polarizing interview mode. So I'd be talking, joking around like, oh my God, yeah, that, that, that. And then I'm like, you know what? By the way, where are you from? Okay, so I take interview mode questions like, where are you from? What do you do? What's your name? How old are you? And I make them kind of like, you know, coming from that challenging, you know, place of mind. I'm like, where are you from? Interesting. And it creates a little bit more of that resistance. It puts the pressure on. It's like fluff, 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 fluff. Where are you from? Fluff, 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 what about this? Fluff, 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 what about this? And those spikes add, again, more of that masculine polarity, okay? So cultivate first for yourself the intensity, okay? Like, start projecting that through your eyes. Start just trying to amplify your personality and just express it in a much more, you know, just powerful way, and then add on to that more of the magnetic side by going against the current of things, okay? Creating that resistance, putting the pressure on, doing push-pulls, and staying away from anything that's just flat. Staying away from the fucking fluff, okay? Masculine polarity. I don't just look at her eyes like, hey. I'm like, yeah, see, I'm comfortable. I'm kind of like, yep. Like, what's she gonna do? I said dog. I, said, I, I whistled you over. What's she gonna do? <laughs> Interesting. Are you from San Diego? Are you? You can speak. <laughs> are you from San Diego? No, I'm not from San Diego. Interesting. <laughs> Where are you from? Massachusetts. Hmm. How old are you? Old enough. <laughs> I like you. You're, you're quirky. Cool story, bro. You don't have to look away. It's just us here, baby. It's just us. It's just us. What are you thinking right now? Don't be so nervous. <laughs> You don't have to hold a smile. You can smile. Don't be afraid. <laughs> is this the gayness? Do you, do you, do you, do you, <laughs> don't, don't try to break the tension by addressing the gayness, bro. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just let it happen as you slowly, you know, look into my eyes. As you slowly shake your head a little bit. As you slowly right trying to talk. As you slowly try to break the tension again. Your humor will not be mine. My frame's stronger. As you nod a little bit more. You start thinking, damn it, why is he picking on me? What's my exit out of this? You always laugh a little bit, thinking that'll break the tension. You stop laughing because you realize it's stupid. You laugh a bit more, you can't think. 
<laughs> okay, just swiping around. Okay, but yeah, it's like, oh, even my eyes are like, damn. Okay, so, okay, so like you can just build it like that. By the way, you want to know the reason why you probably have trouble doing the things that Julian's talking about? Because you're playing not to win, but to not lose. What Julian's talking about is actually playing to win. You're not focused your intent on not getting blown out, not upsetting the girl, not having friction. You're actually focused on what's going to work. You're focused on, you know what? A neutral interaction is shit to me. I only care if this works. This is the most likely thing of working for me, so I'm gonna do it.